let me explain to you how Kundalini manifests, what it looks like when it wakes up. There are different levels of intensity. And I like to say you are in control and you, you can make an agreement with this kind of awakening. You are always in control. So know that. Um, the way that Kundalini manifests for me is the first time I felt it, I started feeling shakes in my body. And these shakes were blissful, orgasmically blissful. But it's not like sex, it's just like so good. That's how it manifests, right? Shakes in the body. And then what also happened with me, and I hear this from other people as well, in conjunction with feeling these shakes, there was an instant shift in awareness, we can say consciousness, in the sense that I was looking out over nature and nature popped into magnificence, actually just streamed in, in extreme magnificence. <sighs> and I often do this now in nature meditations where I allow these shakes to come into my body or these movements and then whew, nature, just like quite trippy how beautiful it becomes. It's like nature wants to show itself to us in its true magnificence. And when you feel this, these shakes, you open to perceive this. So it does bring with it um, a, a shift in awareness. Whew. Another way a Kundalini manifests for me is there's a lot of movement in my body. As I've cultivated it over the last few years, it's only been since 2018, it moves through my body. It feels like a ball of like energy. And I perceive it like a ball of golden light. It feels really good, blissfully good. And it travels through the body and usually makes my body move. And I can relax my body and allow more of these movements to, to happen. It also starts for me, um, it automatically brings certain breathing techniques into my body. So I don't, you can enter it from a breathing technique aside for starting with the breathing, but I usually focus on feeling the sensation and then it's like the sensation pulled, pulls the breath into the body. Breathing sensations. So, and um, this kundalini ball of energy that moves through my body can be described, um, and it, it is actually the same energy, like the, the force that moves through the ocean that makes the waves. That's the same energy that one becomes aware of in your body. And it moves like this. And then it also, again, brings with it feelings, emotions of love, of peace, of gratitude, whatever is needed. So I always feel that it's bringing downloads, information, because I'm tapping right into universal life force. So I usually get some, like an overall just feeling of something like peace or clarity, even sometimes clarity on something that I've been wondering about. So this is how Kundalini manifests. And um, I also move it through my body up and down. And I move it through my arms, to my fingertips down my legs, to my feet, also to the top of my head. It can also, it can be described as an electrical charge in your body. So that charge is already there, we all have it, but you suddenly, through certain physical practices, become very aware of yourself as an energetic being. And you simply become aware of 
this energy that is in you. And the more you put focus on it, the stronger it moves. Um, the, the, the stronger the awareness of this ball of bliss comes and becomes. Um, and another way that this Kundalini manifests is, um, as I mentioned, it's very blissful and orgasmic. So when you activate this flow while during lovemaking, the result is that you go into an orgasmic state where these um, waves of bliss, just waves and waves and waves through your body for a very long time, for as long as you want it to stay there. So it's very good for um, lovemaking, multi-orgasmic, like hundreds of orgasms and in one evening. It's like these things are possible for us. So this is how the Kundalini energy manifests for me. And I also know that when there are shakes, um, it's, it's usually because I'm trying to hold it down, resist. Um, the shakes are because of resistance or blocks. So when there is a block, a resistance in the body, there's the shaking. So some people do experience the shaking and then um, it's good to know that you can actually see yourself like the ocean. The shaking is almost like when there's like a rock in the ocean and there's like a crash against it. So always feel like you are the ocean and allow the, these waves of bliss to move through your body smoothly, as smoothly as possible. And you can do this through movement and breath and visualization. So there's a little more clarity on Kundalini energy.